The International Federation of Women Lawyers says the 2023 general election is another opportunity for Nigeria to prove itself as a gender-friendly nation. Their expectations ahead of the polls was the focal point of discussions at a workshop in Port Harcourt on increasing the participation of women in politics. Senior reporter Uchi Okoro has details. The Nigerian Bureau of Statistics reported that less than 6% of elective positions are held by women. Also, while reviewing the 2019 elections, the Independent National Electoral Commission said only 13% of the candidates nationwide were women. The long list of negative statistics continue to prove that indeed, the 35% affirmative action for representation of women in political leadership remains a mirage. But groups like the umbrella body of women lawyers in River State are not giving up. There can never be a better time for women to move forward. This is a time, there cannot be a better tomorrow. It has to be done now. And I think the women are prepared for this. Stereotype gender roles, reproductive health and violence against women during elections are some of the factors that have limited their participation in politics. But the call is for them to continue to challenge the status quo by contesting during elections. The other time we put a woman there, what did she do? When they ask that question, also ask them, the other time we put a man there, what did he do? So if we are going to improve on the quality of governance, we should improve it across board, whether the person is a man or a woman. The women have been relegated for a long time. Uh, they have capacity to contribute and they have been contributing in all the other spheres of uh, human endeavor in Nigeria. And I think now, the way things are, the awareness has grown, so women ought to be given more opportunity to prove themselves in governance. The way forward. As the country moves towards 2023, Women say their campaign isn't so much about gender. They want the electorate to trust women with leadership based on their qualifications. When we talk about gender, we are not excluding merit. There are women who merit it. So we're not talking, it's not about poor quality because we're talking about women, no. What we're saying is that any situation where women are not part of decisions that affect them is a bad situation and that must change. INEX statistics indicate that women already have the numbers to effect the expected change. But for that to happen, they must pick up their permanent voters cards and prepare to support fellow women in 2023. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Harcourt.